today we are going to learn how to create a video by using Microsoft PowerPoint. Now to do this, you need some pictures and any version of Microsoft PowerPoint. Okay, so I'm gonna search PowerPoint from my search bar. Let's type PowerPoint here. Okay, here it is. Now from here, I'm going to take a new blank document. So here see, I have some text boxes on my slide. As I'm going to create a video, I need to remove all these text boxes from the slide. So I'll change the layout into blank. Now to do this, you should go to the home tab and then the layout option. Finally, you can give blank. Okay, so I'm going to take few more empty slides with the new slide option. Okay, now let's start to design our cover page. Now to design my cover page, I need to add a heading for my video. So here we can use the word art option. To get it, we can click the insert tab. And then the word art option. Okay, so let's type our heading inside this. I will type how to make learning fun. In a social distance classroom. Okay, now let's change the styling and the colors of our heading. Now, if you are not much familiar with these options, please refer our previous video to practice. So like this, I have changed the colors and all the styles of my cover page. Now let's add some pictures to decorate the cover. Before starting this PowerPoint, I downloaded all the pictures that I need from the Google. So I am going to click the insert tab, then the pictures option to find a new picture from my computer. I'm going to select this. Now here see, the picture is bit larger, so I'm going to drag with these small edges to make it bit smaller. As you can see, the picture came onto the text. So you can see all my text has been hidden. Now I'm going to move my picture backward by going to our format tab. And then I will click this backward option. Likewise, I am going to add the other pictures too. Now when you are placing the picture, just go through the slide pane and check the preview properly. So you can balance your pictures and the text properly. Finally, let's add a background color to our cover page. To do this, we need to click the design tab, then the format background option. Now remember, if you like to learn about other options like gradients and pattern fills, 
You can refer the previous videos which I have mentioned in the description box. Okay, so I'm going to use light yellow. Right, now let's design the second slide. So, I'm going to add the pictures which I have saved already. Then, with the picture styles, I'm going to add a small simple board. Okay, so now let's uh, place our picture properly. Now we need to add a nice wording for this slide. So I'm going to use the same option word art. And then I'm going to give my first tip. So I'll type make your study room clean and tidy. On the top of my wording, I need to add tip 1. So to do this, I'm going to add a small shape from the insert tab. And now let's change the colors. Let's make it bit 3D. Alright, now let's add text by right clicking and giving edit text. Okay, so I'll change the colors as I need. So finally, let's give a color for the background too. Alright, uh, so I am okay with my preview and I am going to start the third slide. Here I am going to add three pictures from my folder. With picture styles, I'll change the appearance too. Okay, now we need to add some animations to change the way where our pictures appear to the slide. So what you need to do is, you should click on the first picture first, then click on the animation step, and then I'm going to click uh, this bounce option for the first picture. Then for the second one, I'm going to put swivel. And then for the third one, I'll use fly in. Okay, so let's see how my animations look. Likewise, I'll make my fourth slide too. Okay, so this slide will be about keeping notes during an online lesson. Right, uh, I'll add some pictures too.
okay so finally let's create our last slide Okay, now we are going to have the final look. So, I think now we all saw the final look too. Now I'm going to add some transitions. That means I'm going to change the way how my slide appears during the presentation. Okay, so I'm going to click the first slide. Then the transition step and then I'm going to try out these options. Now I hope that uh, you might have referred our previous videos which we have done about slide transitions. So as I'm going to create a video, we need to add some music, okay? What we need to do is, we should click on this uh, insert tab, then the audio option. So from my downloads folder, I am going to use a music track which I have already downloaded before I start this presentation video. Now remember this option is very important okay now we are going to give timing for each of our slide right to do this you need to click slideshow tab then from here you can give rehearse timing so if you are okay with the time of the first slide like this you can move to the next slide with your arrow keys on your keyboard all right so likewise i'm going to do until the end So finally, you should get this message. So from here, if you are satisfied with your timing, you can give yes. Okay, so then automatically the timing will be saved. Right. Now let's uh, check our final look. So now I'm not going to use any key from the keyboard. Okay. So, as you can see, my slideshow works automatically. I didn't click any buttons or any keys from the keyboard.
as the final step i'm going to save my presentation as a video so here you need to go to your file tab after that you can give a suitable name for your video right then you should select mpeg video format to save okay so this is the only uh, file format which we can use in powerpoint to save the presentation as a video right so you can see a small bar is loading in the bottom of my presentation so it will take a bit time So this is the way we can easily create a short and a simple video by using Microsoft PowerPoint. I hope today's video is very clear for you so you also can try this way and leave us a comment So, see you with the next video soon. Thank you very much.